everybody ready? Let's get into this. 550 bucks. All the money, baby. Dusty little guy. Can't even record on the phone with these gloves. The sky outside looks crazy right now. What do I, I gotta lick the screen to get it to start? Okay, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. So here we are, we're at the storage facility. Pulling into the facility right now, I just paid at the front desk. 540, I would say basically $550. This guy's gonna get into his golf cart and bring me around to the unit. Thankfully, I saw this building over here, right? That's a big warehouse. And I started getting scared that this was in a building that was up higher than the first floor. But thankfully, these local, these local storage units are usually ground level and that changes everything. So that's a good thing to know that if you're buying a big unit that has a lot of stuff in it, heavy items, try to get it on the ground floor because it just cuts out so much extra abuse time and effort this looks like a legit facility though i'm not gonna lie like the way that the paint is decaying i just feel like this could be some serious serious gold in here this guy has a really cool outfit on too This guy looks like a straight G, actually. He's got a lock on there. And a tag. So it's looking good. Do you want to verify the tag or anything? I purchased a unit here for $500. It ended up being with taxes and everything. About 550 bucks, I'm gonna say. I just showed up, right? So I'm gonna open this for the first time with you, everybody watching. Um, I absolutely love this. I just took a peek inside because the guy opened it. He took the tag off, everything like that. That's what they do. They show you the unit first. So anybody who's watching a YouTube video where they're just cracking it for the first time, I make it exciting because I know it's exciting. But they've already seen the unit probably 100% of the time. So let's go. Is everybody ready? Let's get into this. 550 bucks. Let's go. All right, take two. 550 bucks. All the money, baby. Dusty little guy. Whew. Been a while since I got a unit. Still selling stuff from the $2,500 unit. And in between that one and this one, I only bought a small unit just for, I think, 10 bucks at the uh, local auction. But this is the second decent sized unit that I bought all year long three units three months so one a month just to show how dusty it actually was so this stuff has been sitting here for a while a long time i have bought a decent amount of storage units in my life the reason i purchased this unit is because i saw this i saw this and i saw the kegerator and i thought that this was a NASCAR jacket but it turns out that it's actually just a blanket which still isn't bad I didn't even see the sombreros but those are actually pretty vintage and actually really cool so what I was thinking <coughs> what I was thinking that pillow is disgusting is that this was like a man cave that was put into here with also other belongings because there's like a suitcase, three totes here, two more totes under there. These random boxes that could be just filled with pure gold. Christmas ornaments right there I can see for the Christmas auction. You know, four or whatever totes along there. So there's a potential to have like just a ton of really cool stuff in here. I'm seeing a vintage t-shirt. No way. Like already pure freaking gold. Look at this. Rocky and Bullwinkle. 
1991. 5545, not even the 5050. And size large is a great size. What does it say? Greetings, Taco Bell, Rocky and Bullwinkle shirt. This might actually be worth $100, which sounds crazy, but this is fire. What I am going to do though, since of course there's a time limit on this, and I've already wasted enough time, I didn't get here till about 3 p.m., and it closes at 6, is load up a bunch of this stuff into the truck without even looking at it and then maybe part two of this video series will show the contents of what's in these boxes and hopefully i can do that with sammy we'll see but that's the plan so i'm going to just back up a little bit here basically right here and then load up this well i got one blue glove on because it works with the phone and one uh white glove on this is for other content creators or people who might be trying to make youtube videos or instagram videos or tiktok videos or whatever facebook all different videos take your stills like get your thumbnail before you get too carried away because later you're going to forget and second film on a camera that's vertical and a camera like your phone that's horizontal so you have footage to use for both platforms because trying to convert GoPro clips or DSLR clips or footage that's filmed this way into phone size footage is a complete disaster later on. So just film with your phone up and down and you got it all. I'm doing a, th a thumbnail right now. I'm actually using this for a prop, but I really am going to use this because I have a lock that has no key and I'm just going to lock it overnight with the lock until I come back tomorrow and then I'll just cut it off with this. But let's get into this. Too much talking. Like I said, this stuff's just going to be put into the car. At least a few containers. Put this stuff here for now. This lampshade is trash. This is probably trash. This I could probably just post right here right now for you know whatever amount you got some winter clothes in there i'll go through that later though see i'm not even going to open this this could be anything this could be good it could be horrible usually when they use these yellow containers though they put at least something of value in it not always not always this looks like some good christmas stuff there's a jewelry box right here so i might have to look in that a little tv mount that's not bad not really that great to sell though honestly this yellow one has a lot of weight to it that's a heavy piece right there well whereas the other ones are obviously closed well not obvious but I'm, that one is closed, I know that because I opened it, but this one feels like closed. So, Christmas auction. Christmas auction, which is coming up. But we got this, which could be good and could just be nothing at all. Thompson & Co. Inc. Okay, okay, it's a cigar box. There's cigars left in there still. The real question is, should we smoke them? Or should we not? They seem fresh. Might have to try one of those out on a nice Sunday afternoon coming up. But then we got this, which is a camera. So that's good for the auction. This box right here is interesting though. Well, all this stuff is actually fine too. Cause I use envelopes, so can't really complain about that. And we got Lake Tract School. Okay. Spot carpet cleaner. 
not really what you're wanting going through here. But this one, this is an interesting one here. What is this? No way. Is this like, oh, they're empty? Why are they empty? Thought this was gonna be a coin collection. Zenith. There's like an eyeball gumball. What happened to the change? What happened to the quarters? This is still an interesting thing here. I'll take this, obviously. I just pulled this out of there. And it does look like the official beer of St. Patrick's Day. That that part's broken, but this might work. And if any of it works, I mean, it's still probably salvageable regardless. I was hoping for a complete beer sign, and I'm also not seeing any outlets around here, so might have to deal with that later. All right, so these, are, these all these are going to be obvious trash. There's no one anywhere in the world who would want to keep these. So something like this doesn't really have much. This is like a doggy bag. Have value really in itself, but you could say, you know, Philly's lot keychains, talking bottle openers, and put them all together, start them at a dollar in the in the auction and, you know, see where it goes. Always worth taking. Lucky you, 2006, Bud Light. I don't know. All together, not bad. So to me, this tells a story that in 2002, some of this stuff could have been in a different storage unit, the storage depot. Makes me wonder, you know, what could actually be in here and how old the stuff, some of it could be. The older, the better sometimes, not always. So what what this is showing, I believe, is a knee injury. I just brought this out. So to me personally, this has absolutely no value. But just because of the condition, not because of what it is. But somebody might want it maybe to fix it, to use it for something. I have no idea. So wicker shelf, I'll probably post it to Facebook Marketplace. We got the kegerator. Nostalgia electrics. Electrics? I thought it said electronics, but looks like it's all in there. Potentially could be missing something but i will sell this locally on facebook it does look like it's in good condition decent condition i would say it works i'm not gonna i can't prove that right this second but if it's in here looking like this it's a good sign all right we got the the vhs collection always a fan favorite for me anyway and there is a bunch of tapes in here that were filmed off of the tv so that just means more Dirty Dancing. More commercials to be had. Vintage commercials to be had. And here's the Game of Thrones DVD set. And some clothes. And a few more DVDs right here. I can put in with the VHS tapes. Other Home Depot box. I was just moved like 60 of these earlier. Of Snow Babies. I'm definitely gonna go through more stuff with everyone here today, but I'm gonna load up a decent amount of the boxes onto the truck right now. I opened these a little bit, but uh, wow. They have kittens on them, no way. These are really cool. So I came up with a new plan. Tomorrow is gonna storm, rain, wind, the whole nine. I'm gonna take all this stuff back to my house, the stuff I haven't really opened, right? And then fill the bed of this with trash. There's gonna be like four or five trash bags probably. And then the office chair, the ottoman, this thing. I don't know about that yet. And then all this stuff, can actually be put in my uh, Cadillac. So this array of items might be left here until tomorrow. And maybe not all of it. I might go through it a little bit, but. Should be the plan. So that I'm not just so, so overwhelmed. All right, we got like a little styrofoam deer. But look at this. This is it right here. Brooklyn Ale. And that goes on top of the kegerator. 
The only question is, like, would it be smart to sell this separately because it might be worth just as much as the entire thing. So if you're selling it together, that that's something to think about. Like that was detached from it and you can put almost any top on here. And I'm sure somebody who's buying a kegerator probably already has one, right? To sell this separate could be the call. I could do a search and see how much just the top is worth, the keg top. I don't know, what would you call this exactly? Keg topper. This same model Nostalgia Electrics, what was this? KSR, KRS 2150, I just looked it up, is $949. Obviously, you're gonna pay tax. So this is a thousand bucks to buy new, brand new. So I don't think it's actually out of the crazy question to uh, try to get like 250, 300 for this. So I am just gonna clean it up just a bit. Take the magnets off, everything like that. So it doesn't look so crazy. And I will sell it with the topper because I just looked this up on eBay and it was about 40 bucks on eBay. So that's not really worth that much. This one was looking like pretty feisty because I could see a vintage t-shirt right there in the front. What the t-shirt is, we are about to find out. Tune in, groove on, bust out. The party. That's actually pretty cool. I could see myself wearing that. Networking. These are like college books, I feel like. Random tea with no writing on it. And then just a blank blue t shirt. That's kind of gross. I think this is empty. This is a Bible dictionary. This this could be worth something. I don't know, this is wild. I never saw this before. To minimize the load, I'm gonna break this apart. This is not sellable. I can't help myself but poke around in here. What is this? Cough medicine. Whoa, some pins and stuff. Hmm. Reese's Pieces. For the success of all children. Who is this? say that was simple but that thing is light no wonder they're a thousand dollars because that's easy to move around with just one person i gotta see what's in here because this guy did have some cool clothes this was a, this guy was a teacher that makes sense guess <laughs> and these are women's clothes these ones all right, I got the nastiest ottoman coming out of here. But when I pull up to the house, I can just pull right up to the trailer and throw all the stuff in there, the trash, and that'll be out of my hair at that point. Out of my out of my hands. The green ottoman. All right, I'm gonna go get a, something to drink and snack on at the gas station I pass. It's literally right up the street. And then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna go through this container which I hope has stuff in it. I don't know for sure. That's like a, that's a full blown treasure chest right there. And then load up as much more stuff as I can. This might be sellable, but this is trash. That's real wood, this is particle board. And then the rest of this stuff for the most part is gonna get picked up tomorrow. Not too much more to do. And it is 441. So I'll have about an hour to do when I get back here. I would uh, definitely lock my storage unit if I bought a storage unit, just if I was leaving the facility, but I haven't seen anyone in here since I got here. And really the chances of people stealing from storage units, I mean, if it was left for a month, I guess, but overnight seems very, very low, especially the kind of stuff that's in here. Cause you have to look deeply to even see anything valuable. Let's go check out this deli up the street and see what's all, what it's all about.
these companies definitely do location, 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 because that is the Atlantic City Expressway. Route 42, maybe. But yeah, it's that freaking close to the road. So we got this place right here called Ed's Deli. Check this out. I don't know if I want a full meal right now, though. Maybe on the way back, I'll get stuff in here. I might just go into the... What is this place called? One Stop Shop. This is pretty cool. We'll see what this is all about. One Stop Shop. They got snacks for sure, though. Let's see. Could have just craving an iced tea right now. Arizona, though? Maybe we'll do a Turkey Hill. Not the best thing to get, but this tastes so good. Probably a water, too. Little Fiji water. <laughs> These two. I'm not going to do any soda. That's wild. The healthy choice, but... We're going just to have them in the truck. What I should have done is brought food from the house, but here we go. The storage auction starter pack right here. I don't really like to touch food with my hands when I'm in the middle of something like this. So here I can just crack the top of this and just push them out with my mouth. And then I'll just open the bag and just pour it in my mouth. But let's get back to work here. That mark was... Uh, it was fine, it was a good place, but they didn't really have varieties like I liked. Back again. So I feel like these mirrors can definitely be salvaged. I mean, I guess not definitely, but they're not terrible. Two of those, I could post them up for like 40 or 50, I guess. The bottoms of the whatever dresser this came from clearly are not in here, but I don't know, maybe somebody's just wants a mirror vintage old mirror so those two probably post those this thing honestly probably trash might be sellable but I'm not gonna really include that in the value of the unit but let me get into this now into this trunk is there stuff in here I kind of want to get my reaction on my phone as well so it is getting cold out though. The storms are brewing for sure. Anytime, I shouldn't say anytime, but most times that I do this and I get all excited, there's just like nothing in the trunk. We'll see. Same with this stool though too. It's like, I'm not gonna put money on the fact that this stool is gonna get me anything except for a tripod for right this second. If I put it like this, I'll be able to see perfectly in the trunk. All right, let's do this. Whew. The treasure trunk is it gold. Let's do it. Ooh, it is filled. It does have stuff. Not sure what it is, but it's not empty. Table lamp. So the contents of the trunk. Stoneware fluted pan. Actually a DVD player. That's actually pretty cool. I'm actually gonna take the DVD player and use it myself. A little weird, but that's what's going down. Is this a part of it? No, but I think, okay, that good. So DVD player with the remote, and this is the remote to the TV. So that's a good sign. I'm liking that. So we actually, uh, we're looking for a DVD player because we got a, some DVDs of different things Finn could watch. The trunk itself, all these are actually usable even for shipping. This is kind of cool. What's this? Stationery, a little like notebook, a Boeing poster, cutting boards. Those are trash. All right, so I am going to pack it in like as much stuff as I can just because if I come in the Cadillac, I don't have as much room. This is definitely a, a little piece right here. This is really cool. Probably you sell that in the auction. Not sure. And then all this stuff 
It's kind of, well, it's a little Pyrex maybe. All this stuff's kind of like donatable, but not really of much value to me, but also not trash. I'm always thinking who would put this in storage? Who would even have this at their house? And then I think about all the stuff that I have. And then I start to realize, yeah, people do have just random stuff. Is this a little camera bag? Then another bag, Shakespeare. This is a fishing bag actually. So that can just be thrown up in here somewhere. And then, this seems like it might be empty, but I don't know. This could be good for maybe the yard sale or donatable or possibly the auction if somebody would want this. It's just like a little, kind of like a briefcase type of bag. The fishing bag's not bad. Only worth like two bucks though. There's not really anything that's wowing me right this second. The majority of the boxes have not been gone through yet. A little flashlight. These are some heavy duty beer mugs. What's in here? More beer mugs. If these are all dishes though, that is not gonna be making me happy. The vintage shirt collection, that was looking pretty fire. Not even gonna lie. Like there could be some crazy gold in here. This t-shirt lot right here. Yeah, might have to go through this. So this TV right here is not a smart TV. It's just a basic TV that you can plug a DVD player into, cable into. Yeah, just watch regular TV with it. But it does have all the audio video connections and all that, which some of the smart TVs don't have. Not a smart TV, still worth probably 40 bucks, I would think. Maybe not. From the reviews I just read online though, it's very clear and the sounds good. Moving on. Stoneware fluted pan. Hmm. Okay. That could be auctioned. It looks dirty though. Okay, I just pulled these vintage t-shirts out of a 10x10 storage unit that I bought. I pulled an insane Taco Bell Rocky and Bullwinkle shirt already from this unit. So this box could be gold, let's see. It could be terrible as well. What do we got? John McCain shirt, extremely faded. Wow, this is pretty fire. Purple, purple Russell Athletics vintage. That's actually pretty nice. I would wear that myself. What do we got? Oxford Health XL. The sizes are right. The sizes are right. Kaba Waba to Tequila. The back's not bad. Let's see. License to Thrill. Wow. Deer Hunter shirt. Is that like the game? Deer Hunter? That could be actually really nice. That's a pretty good score. This is a deep box though. The fun's not over. Max Swiney Club? No idea what that is. Come on, give me something. Making it happen. Not sure what that is. What's this though? This looks pretty cool. The bad dog. That's actually pretty cool. Dog pooping. Boston Shirt Company. Oxford Health. Not even gonna not even gonna pull that. We got an old navy shirt. What is this? Oh, there looks like some crazy stuff in the bottom of here though. What is this? Faded Glory. So that's a Walmart shirt. River of Living Water. Come on, give me something. This is a green, green tea. Fruit of the Loom XL. That's actually pretty nice. Another green tea, anything on it? says what a difference you can make in the life of a child that's true it's actually pretty cool what's this what's this body equipment damn these are not hitting like i thought they would this one's like stuck together the rocky and bullwinkle takes it all day That was uh, a letdown. 
I just ran through all these tees right here thinking I was gonna find some crazy stuff after the Brocky and Bullwinkle. Nothing really that great. I mean, the deer hunter is actually pretty fire, but the purple Russell Athletic's not bad either. Other than that, push for president 2000. And we got a Mummy Returns movie ticket from 2001. It was $7.75 to see the Mummy Returns back in the day. Great movie. Love the Mummy and the Mummy Returns. And the Scorpion King. And even the third one. I forget the name of it, but... You ever seen a trick like this? Pop open some latex gloves fresh from the storage unit. Pop them on and start using them. Nah, they're ruined. That's why you never saw that before. This is a decent uh, little collection of sockets and tools. Little socket set. Two thousand fourteen. So not an extremely long time ago. Here we go. It looks like some tails. They look washed, so they could be used for definitely at least rags, if not to send items in for padding. Little nightgown. And this is a wine rack. I'm just trying to load up kind of as much stuff as I can. All right, let's see what we got here. Can I pull off any tricks today? Am I feeling it? Kick butt. That just proves the craftsmanship of furniture back in the day. If I tried to do that on a table that was made now it would quite literally just fall to pieces this thing is still going all right who says you can't have fun on the job you can and that's the whole point all right i gotta get out of here the one thing that i always find and didn't fail this time is keys i have like a whole fish tank full of keys Okay, locked and loaded until next time. Well, until tomorrow morning. Because I do have to have this out of here by 12 in the afternoon. I'm just using this little baby lock. No, oh, okay. but it will be by tomorrow. Well, that's I tried it, it works. Everything was good, dude. Thank you. Shout out to Peter. He just hooked me up. He gave me an extra five, six hours to get it done tomorrow. He just said as long as it's out by 5 p.m. I thought it had to be out by uh, 12. So he's a legend. I just put this little lock on here. But, uh, I mean, that, any lock is actually break inable, so that's fine. Okay, so the one thing, I think he's waiting for me to leave, so I'm just gonna leave. <laughs> Gotta get a receipt. Don't forget to get your receipts for write-offs, even if you're only doing storage units your first time or regularly, not regularly. It's part of your business. Even if you don't have a small business, you can still claim it on your income tax. Keep all your cash receipts. Hey, how are you? Can I have a receipt too, please? Gotta keep all your receipts. I gotta keep, I'm gonna keep repeating it though. This has saved me so much money. I shouldn't say so much money, but like saving your receipts is the smartest thing you can do as a business owner. It's one of the best tips I can give anyone who's trying to do uh, this for a business or even for a hobby. You're not going and buying a storage unit just for fun, because it's not all fun. You have to do it because you wanna make money doing it. 
I wanted to say this earlier, and now I know that the car, the sound of the car is gonna be in the background, but not much I can do about that. I got about 20 minutes till I get back to my house. But I had a comment on YouTube, and I wouldn't say that it, it really pissed me off as much as just made me think think about it and be like, wow, this this is wild. Uh, so someone said I was too pride, which I could see that. I, I do, I am very, very proud of where I've come, how far I've come in the last five years. So I am pride. I've worked my ass off to get where I am. First off, I've worked my ass off to get where I am and I'm not even anywhere. So yes, I'm prideful. I think the generation now, my generation and the generation that is, you know, coming up behind me, they don't have enough self-esteem. They don't have enough pride in what they do. And I think that's an issue. Being too prideful, yeah, anything in excess, bad, but being not prideful enough of what you do is really, really bad. So like, if you don't take pride in your work, that is shameful, that is horrible. There's something bad about being overconfident. I definitely see that. Uh, and there's definitely something bad about being underconfident. So like finding a balance in everything in life is what it's all about. But be prideful, my people, be prideful. Everybody watching, you should be proud of your accomplishments. Not of everything you do, but if you accomplish something and you are successful at something that you've done on your own, you should be prideful, period. That's a guarantee. But I still gotta unload all this stuff, so I'll just keep the camera running uh, throughout the night. And then part two of this video is gonna be coming too after this. All right, we're back home. Back home, see I just pulled right up to the trailer. This is where I put all the trash, so I'm just gonna throw all the trash right into here, and then I wanna unload all the other stuff. But I might have been wrong about this. So basically, I looked into this a little bit, and even in this condition, it might sell half decent. I don't know for how much, but it could sell for like a hundred maybe. Which is wild, but people like this stuff. The condition is not good though. But uh, it's alright. Gotta put in that work to make it happen. Because that took a while to load this, but unloading it, I just did it in like 15 minutes. Here's what I did. So all the uh, all the boxes that I haven't gone through yet, I put in here, and I put the tarp under it so I can wrap this with the tarp, won't get wet. And then when we have free time, which is a joke to even say, but when we have some time, we'll get to this and do a video on just this pile of stuff because who knows what's in there. And then I just got these couple pieces here so I should have just brought all this to the storage unit but they're up in the rent I think I said that in a different video and honestly I'm just over paying all that rent when I might not even need it so this was just a big push to see if I can actually get rid of the uh, storage unit Look how close that is. Nice shot though. So as of right now, I'm not seeing this storage unit as a huge win. I don't think there's any possibility that I would lose money on it, but I haven't found that it factor, that one item that's really gonna throw it over the edge yet. There's most of the boxes in the unit haven't been gone through. And it's really cute, Sammy just said 
that Finn sees me out here and she keeps saying, dad, 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 where's dad, dad. So I got to go in there, but uh, good night, everyone. Stay up, keep pushing. The dream is out there if you make it happen.